Now let's get to the reports that Robin was dealing with severe financial stress. His rep tells us today that those reports are completely false. Our Brooke Anderson is in San Francisco getting to the bottom of Robin's money affairs. You don't have to do this. No, you don't. You know, so why? why? A steady gig is a wonderful thing. You don't have to work. Tell my accountant that. <laughs> You don't, to, you don't have to work. Really? Yeah, really? Thank you. It's off-the-cuff remarks like that which helped fuel speculation that Robin had landed on hard times before his death. But Robin's longtime publicist, Mara Buxbaum, tells us today, quote, Robin had no financial problems. We should be blessed to have Robin's financial status. Some reports also pointed to the fact that Williams had put some of his homes up for sale as a sign that he needed cash. Robin's downsizing began with this $4 million home in San Francisco. In 2010, the deed to the four-bedroom, seven-bathroom property was transferred to his ex-wife, Marcia Garces, after the two had filed for divorce. A source close to Robin tells us that he put his Napa ranch on the market for almost $30 million because he just wasn't using it. Earlier this year, Robin also sold this home in the Hollywood Hills. But his estate still owns the waterfront property he shared with his wife, Susan, where his body was found on Monday. His financial status does have this upside, future earnings, things like royalties, new deals over his likeness, and upcoming releases could all add up to a lot of money. Robin's rep told us that you couldn't take all of what Robin said about money seriously. In fact, back in 1987, he had us laughing, joking about his finances. It wouldn't be that bad. I think I could make the $50,000 a week payments. I'm sure I could. You don't need that stuff, do you? No, you don't. You just need home is where the heart is. And my accountant believes that, too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Give me the cards. Give me the cards. <laughs> There's the card. There's the visa. <laughs> Here's the Vatican Express. Don't leave Rome without it. <laughs> That's gone. Another question, life insurance. Forbes contributors Danielle and Andy Mayora say if he did leave a policy with his wife and kids as beneficiaries, they may not be able to collect. A typical life insurance policy will have an exclusion for suicide if the suicide happens usually in the first two years after the policy is issued. So depending when any life insurance was purchased is going to be critical because um, if it was a recent policy, then his, his suicide may have voided the policy.